الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده محمد الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لا ترغ به الأهواء ولا تلتبس به الألسنة ولا يتطرق إليه تحريف ولا تبديل ولا يمل به عن الجادة الباطل قال الله تعالى وإنه لكتاب عزيز لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه تنزيل من حكيم حميد وقال أيضا وأنزلنا إليك الذكرى لتبين للناس ما نزل إليهم ولعلهم يتفكرون والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد المؤيد بالقرآن معجزة عظمة وآيات باقية على وجه الدهر ووكل إليه بيانه وتفسيره وعلى آله والمهتدين يهديه ما بقي مسلم على وجه الأرض أما بعد Dear brothers and sisters in Islam أحييكم بتحية الإسلام تحية مباركة وهي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Alhamdulillah brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome to another topic I can say the awaited topic Because uh, Before this topic I done other topics My last topic was uh, on the life of Imam Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawzi. Inshallah, you shall find it uh, on my uh, YouTube channel or page. So now, let us continue with our topic about finance in Islam. So, before touching on insurance, I would like to just touch one thing, which is par partnership among owners of capital. I, I, I am using one of the best books on fiqh, um, which is the book of Dr. Yusuf al Qaradawi, one of the notable scholars of Islam of this age. So let us hear what uh, Yusuf Qaradawi says part partnership among owners of capital. So he says, just as it is lawful for the Muslim to use his own wealth for any permissible purpose or to give it. To a capable, experienced person to invest in a joint venture, it is also lawful for him to pool his capital with the capital of others for investment, trade or any lawful business ventures. There are all kinds of activities and projects, some requiring intensive labor, others intensive mental expenditure and still others large capital. By themselves, individuals may not be able to accomplish much. But when joined with others, they can achieve many things. Allah Ta'ala says, And help each other in righteousness and God consciousness. Surah Al-Maidah, Chapter 5 of the Holy Quran. Verse 3 Any deed which produces good results for the individual or society or which removes some evil is righteousness and a righteous deed 
becomes pity if a good intention is added to it. Islam is not content with merely allowing such joint endeavors, but encourages and blesses them, promising Allah's help in this world and his reward in the hereafter. As long as these endeavors are within the sphere of what Allah has made halal, far removed from usury, in interest, and from ambiguity, injustice, fraud, and cheating in any form. In this connection, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah's hand is over two partners, as long as one of them does not cheat the other. But when he cheats his partner, he withdraws it from both. It's a hadith. Okay, Allah's head is over two partners, as long as one of them does not cheat the other. But when he cheats his partner, he will, he will draw, draw, draw it from both, reported by Adara Qutni. Hmm? Adara Qutni was one of the famous scholars of Islam. Of course, not among those uh, Umahatu Sita, Bukhari, Muslim, Muslim, Sunan, Abi da, da, Dawood. Huh? Sunan al-Tirmidhi, Nasai, hmm? Ibn Majah. Those are the umma, Ummahat, the six, six ones. Then after there they come as a, as a need, like Musnad of Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Musnad of uh, Abu Ya'la, hmm? hmm? Sunan al-Darimi, hmm? Like a books by Imam Adara Kutni and so forth. Hmm? We have Musnad of Imam, Imam Shafi'i also. So hadiths come from this sixth Ummah, Ummahat and from the list of which goes down. Inshallah, that will be another topic but I, I i just brought it for forth for the sake of knowledge inshallah in the lessons to to come i shall put you you know topics about this umma ummahat also to touch a bit uh, of tarikh on their authors and I think I should start with Imam al-Bukhari, since his, his book, according to the scholars of Islam, even those who found uh, some weak hadith in him, we can say all the scholars of Islam agreed Bukhari's book is authentic after, most authentic after the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also Imam Muslim him, him, him himself gave praise to Imam al-Bukhari. Imam al-Dhahbi says there's no problem if somebody travels to a place to listen to Sahih al-Bukhari. So let us come back to our topic. Let's not just di diverge. So Allah's hand in the hadith just mentioned refers to his help, inspiration and blessing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also stated in a hadith Qudsi that Allah the Great and Glorious says, I make a third with two partners, as long as one of them da does not cheat the other. But when he, he, but, but when he cheats him, I depart from them. Reported by Abu Dawood and by Al-Hakim, who calls it sound. Al-Hakim is, is, is the one who wrote the, the book, Mustadrak Al-Hakim. So the, there's another version of the hadith from Razin, which, uh, which adds, and Shay Shaitan comes, reported by Razi in his Jamia. So, 
Allah is the third of two partners as long as one of them does not cheat the other but when he cheats him in uh, Razi's version Allah departs from them and sh sh shaitan comes in eh? and you know when shaitan comes in we go to off limits eh? since Iblis doesn't have limits but Allah has his hudud and his hudud are very helpful So pre previously I had talked about uh, interest hmm? So let us just go to insurance companies. Uh, we'll also learn about insurance there. There's a lot on on fi finance here, like about <coughs> like about share cropping. Inshallah, I shall try to touch it uh, in another topic. at another time sorry but for today let's let us just uh, touch on insurance com companies we now turn to the important questions relating to present day insurance com companies so yusuf kardawi says companies which issue life insurance and insurance against hazards and accidents what is the islamic position and the ruling concerning such com companies before answering this question we must first inquire into the nature of such com com companies and the nature of the relationship between the insured and the insurance firm in other words is the insured individual a partner of the firm's owners if this is the case every individual insured by the firm should have a share in its profits or losses since this is the meaning of a partnership in, in in Islam with regard to insurance against hazards the insured pays a specific premium during the year if no accident of the type specified in the insurance policy occurs to the pro property of the which is the shop factory ship during the year the company keeps the premiums re received and nothing is re returned to the insured if on the other hand some cal calamity occurs the insured individual is paid the agreed upon sum. This kind of transaction is far removed from either trade or partnership. In relation to life insurance, supposing a person takes out insurance for twenty thousand dollars. In relation to life insurance, supposing a person takes out insurance for twenty thousand dollars and dies soon after paying the first premium, his beneficiaries are then entitled to the entire sum of twenty thousand dollars. Had this been a business partnership, they would have been entitled only to the amount of the premium, which was paid, plus the pro pro profit on it. Again, if the insured person fails to pay his pre premiums after having a few of them, according to the terms of insurance contracts, he will lose all a great part of what he has already paid. The, the least one can say about this is that it is in the context of the Islamic legal system an invalid condition. The government uh, that the two parties, the argument that the two par parties, the insured and the insurance firm, enter into this contract willingly in accordance with their respective self-interest carries no weight. So do the lender and the borrower on I interest and two gam gamblers. The mutual agreement of the two parties has no validity in a transaction which is not based on justice and equity. 
and which is not devoid of any trace of ambiguity or exploitation. Moreover, since justice with no harm more, more, moreover, since justice with no harm, either to oneself or others, is the ultimate criterion here, a transaction is invalid if it stipulates that in certain situations one party is to, to take all, while no benefits guaranteed to the other. Okay, the other point, do insurance companies constitute cooperatives? It is clear to us that the relationship between the insured and the insurer does not constitute a partnership. The question then is what is the nature of, the, of this relationship? Is it a relationship of cooperation? Are in insurance firms to be re regarded as co co cooperatives which are organized by their members to help one another, each member paying a certain amount as his share? In order to establish a cooperative system on a sound of footing in any group, which desires to help its members in the event of unforeseen calamity. The following con conditions must be met in regard to the money collected. Every mem mem member who pays his all allotted share of money pays it as a donation in the spirit of, bro of brotherhood. From this pool of donations, help is given to those who are in need. In any part of this money is to be invested, it should be invested in halal business only. It is not permitted to the member to denote his, his share on the condition that he will receive a predetermined amount in the event of an unforeseen calamity. Rather, he will be paid an amount which will compensate his loss or a part of it, depending on the resources of the group from the pooled monies. What has been donated is gift from the donor, and taking it back is haram, taken from the book Al-Islam wal Manahij al Ishtirakiya Islam and so -so Socialism by Muhammad al Ghazali, page 131. Apart from some of the Muslim cooperatives and associations in which the individual pays a certain sum monthly as a don donation without any right to take it back and with no condition that he will receive a predetermined amount in case of an unforeseen calamity, these conditions are not met. As far as insurance companies, especially life insurance, are concerned, they do not satisfy these conditions in any respect because the insured individuals do not pay the premium as don donations. Such a thought never occurs to them. Insurance firms can invest their monies in business which operate or lend their money on interest. All this is haram and the Muslim is prohibited to participate in such activities. The strictest and most per permissive ju jurists all agree on this point. In the event that the insured survives the term of the contract, he gets back all the pre premiums he paid plus some additional sum which is nothing but interest. Furthermore, insurance is contrary to the whole concept of cooperation among people, while the principle of cooperation requires that the poor and needy be, be paid more than, than the rich. The rich which can afford the higher pre premiums get back much more in the event of death or an ac accident than the poor. In the 6th 1972 edition of the present volume, Dr. Karadawi has cited three additional references about, id about insurance published in the 40s and 50s. Well, in another version, there is more. Eh? Point. On, on this, do insurance com companies constitute cooperatives? So now we have again a modification. In my view, in the view now of the Sheikh, he says insurance against hazards can be modified in a manner which will bring it closer to the Islamic principle by means of a contract of donation with a condition of compensation. The insured will donate his payments to the company with a stipulation that the company will compensate him. In the event that he is struck by calamity with an amount which would assist him and reduce the burden of his loss, such a type of transaction is allowed in some Islamic schools of jurisprudence. If such a modification is 
affected and if the company is free of usurious business one may de declare insurance against hazards to be a lawful contract however as far as life insurance is concerned i see it as being very rem remote as being very remote from islamic business transactions this now we will go to the islamic system of insurance so now i am on the topic of the islamic system of insurance but before getting there we have seen the way the sheikh you know has has as explained in, including his views so in conclusion what i will say is that okay you can join an insurance company pro provided it means it's islamic terms anything which you do on the in this world make sure it meets the islamic terms huh? that is what I, I i i can say do not tra transgress the limits of allah jalla jalalu yeah also after hearing my video you can still re research on on this topic there are many books of fiqh which are written you can also consult the experts yeah also dr yusuf al karlawi -Kar is a human being huh? although pre previously I, I i i said you should uh, read this book and i shall bring a whole session only regarding this book but dr yusuf al karda is just a human being and okay there are some things here are based on his opinion hmm? and what matters in islam hmm? uh, is, is is what allah and his messengers said even even ulama have their own ijtihad hmm? Hmm. make the de deductions out of the quran and sunnah but still those de deductions are just sup su supposed to be within the limits of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta So, whenever you come any Islamic book, try also to verify it with the Quran and Sunnah. Ask your scholars, because these people who write books like the scholars, of course, they're not the prophets. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, of whom Wahi came, the prophet was the final messenger. Hmm? And and also they are they are not not like those sahabas of the pro, pro prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Well, with the sahabas, they have everything which which came, eh? it had no problem. Their teacher was the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam. And uh, and as you re read, you will know even after the the prophet died, some big so 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 sahabas like Abu Bakr used to ask some things, eh, to those so so sahabas who were of very low level. Im imagine that. Yeah, read Majmaul Fat Fatawa, the volume of Fiqh, which is pre 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 present in the libraries. Hmm? So the bottom line, line is that any scholar after the prophet and the sahabas you, you need to verify what he or she is saying hmm? since them they got it directly from the pro prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Also, when you try to hear this Sahaba said this, try to verify the, st the statement through a chain of transmission. Hmm? Isnad, the Isnad system is, is, is very 
important in this in Islam. Abdullah ibn al Mubarak said if, if our deen is no is no not of Islam, then thing, things are useless, will be like uh, others. And uh, others, while well, he refers to the Jews and Christians, of which they did things which lack the Sanad. Hmm? The whole religion now lacks a Sanad to the prophets. So let us go to the Islamic system of insurance. Our observation that the modern form of insurance companies and their current practices are objectionable is Islamically does not mean that Islam is against the concept of insurance itself, not in the least. It only opposes the means and methods. If other insurance practices are employed which do not conflict with Islamic forms of business transactions, Islam will welcome them. I've just men mentioned that. In any case, the Islamic system has already ensured the Muslims and others living under its governance in its characteristic fashion, the characteristic which permits all its teachings and legislation. This pro pro provision provision is accomplished either through mutual help among individuals or through the government and its treasury. For the treasury, known as the Beit al-Mal, is the universal insurance company for all who, re who re re reside within the Islamic domain. The Islamic Sharia, we find insurance for individuals against hazards and pro provision for assisting them to overcome di disasters, which may be before them. Earlier we mentioned that, that a person who is um, rendered destitute due to a cal calamity is, pa is permitted to ask for financial help, particularly from the administrative authorities, until he is fully compensated or is able to stand on his own feet again. You will also find this information from the hadith from Kubeisa on page 127 of this book which I am using. On this section, work and and earning a livelihood. Inshallah, also one of the topics which I will ex explain. I think I have to to explain this work and uh, and and earning a, a livelihood, since some Islamophobes claim that Islam is not pro productive. Islam is this this. Huh? They take the example of one bad apple to be the example of the rest of the apples present in the basket. We are in this world of which our enemies will do huh? anything to take us out of the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُرِدُونَ عَيُطْفِئُ نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِمْ وَاللَّهُ مُطِمُّ نُورِهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ وَفِي رِوَايَةَ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُشْرِكُونَ So I find it fit to explain this topic. Also, before going further, also, if somebody you're doing da'wah, just like the way I am doing here, Islam doesn't just tell you, just, you know, sit there, eh? teach. Eh? You should only be pre present in the mosque. Just do da'wah only. You're allowed to look for, for a living. Hmm? You're a teacher teaching in school. Of course, that is da da'wah. If you're teaching Islamic lessons. Islam permits you still to do business. Huh? You are an Ustad teaching in a madrasa. Huh? Don't, don't just take it there. Do business like big personalities in Islam. Read the stories of Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak. Umar bin al-Khattab, 
Uthman bin Affan huh? Abdurrahman bin Auf huh? People did business in Islam huh? They were not only on da'wah work huh? Okay, if you are a teacher teaching din huh? Okay Uh, it is up to you. You can see, sit, sit in the masjid and teach, eh? and wait to and wait to be paid. Although in the zaruriyat you are allowed, whether in the mosque or any other place, to teach al Quran, to to, to get sub, something small. Hmm? But again, go go a step further. In fact, even not even in matters of din, even dunya, don't 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 just stay there. You should you should work an extra mile. Have your own business uh, outside of your communication, of your occupation. Sorry. Hmm? Islam encourages one to work and earn a livelihood. You can work, you know, and earn millions to spread the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam teaches you to work and not to be lazy. Allah, there are many things I can speak on this work and earning a livelihood in Islam. Huh? But inshallah, this one needs a full topic. See now, if I start talking this, this also me, I will not, I, I, I will get confused. But just for, forgive me, I have to touch on this, this, this. Although no, not get completely out of the topic. the Islamic uh, Sharia we find insurance for individuals against hazards and provisions for assisting them to overcome di disasters which may be for them. Earlier we mentioned that, that a person who is rendered destitute due to a calamity is permitted to ask for financial help particularly from the administrative authorities until he is fully compensated or he is able to stand on his own feet again. We also find the concept of insurance from the heirs of a d d diseased person in the prophet's saying. We also find the concept of insurance for, for, for the heirs of a diseased person in the prophet's saying. I am nearer to each Muslim than his very self. If he lives behind some pro property, it is for his heirs. And if he lives behind a debt or a family with young children, he leaves them to me. And they are my responsibility. Reported by Al Bukhari and Muslim. Hadith which is found in the Sahihain, in other words. If you hear the words Sahihain, put it up in your mind. They are Bukhari and Muslim. Radi Allahu Anhu. Okay. I'm repeating it again. We also find the concept of insurance for the heirs of a diseased person in the Prophet saying, I am near to each Muslim than his very, very self. If he lives behind some property, it is for his heirs, and if he lives behind a debt or a family with young children, he leaves them to me, and they are my responsibility. The, the moral lesson. Hmm? I will just go like what other people do. I'll try to diverge a bit of the topic. Although, as I said, I don't want to come out, but I feel, let me just come out a little bit. There's the topic here of uh, responsibility. Huh? You know, Al-Islam, 
is the sea which never left anything untouched. That is the goodness with Islam. Touched on everything, the responsibility, what. So again here we can find, you know, many thing, th things here. Already here we find this ilmul faraid here. Huh? And here yeah, again, uh, responsibility. We find uh, so, so social be behavior in Islam. Hmm? Yani in this hadith, two topics can be brought out. Hmm? Again, it is evidence enough. To, to, to show that Islam has covered everything. I don't think if there is any religion in the world which covers the, the life it's supposed to be. Islam has to cover everything. This is the fitra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sibghatullah wa man ahsanu min Allahi sibgha as it is found in, in Suratul Baqarah. This is the it is the, the nature of Allah. Allah created Islam, huh? and who is better? Huh? Than creating a religion other than Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Tell me. So I think up to here, we should we should know that Islam. Has talked about th th things also, also like insurance. Shua, hmm? Islam has taught you how to live huh? a complete way of life. Hmm? Islam is is not a matter of do and don'ts. Hmm? It's also a matter of life. Huh? How to live your life. Oh, enemies of Islam. Oh, Islam is this, that. I encourage you to, stu to study Islam. In fact, you, 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 you should st study books like The Lawful and Prohibited in Islam, of which I am using, or any other fiqh book of Islam. To know the, the lifestyle of a Muslim is supposed to be. Huh? Some of you pretend to defend the New, New Testament. Huh? Mm. I am sure if I ask you what the New Testament has, has, has said about inheritance, you will, scratch, you will scratch your, your head. As, well, as many times as possible. Because hmm, no, no, nothing there to explain it. What is this? Is there just you, you, you know the faith. Believe in that blood which was spilled because of you. Finished. If you believe in that you are born again. You believe, believe in Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam. Hmm? Eat pork. Huh? Do any other things. Of, of course, there are some laws which are explained in the New Testament. We can't deny that. But what about there are others which are not uh, explained? Should we ju ju just be lax on them? I encourage everybody to study Islam with an open mind. The lifestyle of a Muslim. And the secret to understanding this religion is the Holy Quran. With the Holy Quran, as some scholars put it, like Muhammad Mohar Ali, when he, when he writes in his books, huh? in, in, in one of his books, huh? about uh, the Islamophobes. I have it here on my laptop. I hope we can find it uh, quickly.
the, the, this book is called the biography of the prophet and the orientalists written by Muhammad Muhar Ali former pro professor in the Islamic University of Madina, Madina Tul Munawara just type the Australian Islamic Library download it for your own study and then go to the section which speaks about uh, or orientalism and modern studies it is just uh, in one of the links they are just type uh, more more lit literature and then you will find books there regarding the many topics of Islam and just type the topic which talks about orientalism and modern studies and you will get this book well it's a it's, it's a very nice book which is called the the biography of the prophet and the or orientalist so just search this book Muhammad Mohar Ali just on the first pages uh, of, of his book tells that the Quran, Quran is also a source of seed of the pro prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hmm? so the holy Quran you can understand everything in Islam yeah. I encourage every non-Muslim if you want to know about Islam start with the Holy Quran since it's the, it's the foundation because yeah. if I tell you to go to the Hadith a Hadith you will not understand them they are weak a Hadith hmm? they are Hadith of which one Hadith the hadith of which one one hadith has has abrogated the other hadith so so start with the holy quran quran and then go to any islamic scholar or student to verify it for you then from from there you can get to a hadith but if you want to really and understand islam start with the holy quran so let us uh, and the topic so I had, as I s s s cited the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa which is reported by Bukhari and Muslim which says I am near, I am near to each Muslim than his very self if he lives behind some pro property it is for his heirs and if he li lives behind a debt or a, fam or a family with young children he leaves them to me and they are my uh, responsibility evidence to show that they are the responsibility of the Islamic government hmm? so see how Islam takes care of its uh, how Islam takes care of its followers hmm? and, and all of those who are under the Islamic government the greatest form of insurance which Islam has legislated for its followers among them deserving to receive the zakat funds relates to the category of gharimin those in debt have taken money somewhere but are not able to pay it back some of the early interpreters of the word gharim say it denotes one whose house has burned down or whose property or trade has been destroyed by flood or other di disasters some jurists hold that such a person may be g given from this zakat fund an amount which would restore his p previous financial position even through the other though the amount may reach thousands of dollars okay so up to here the topic of insurance it has uh, ended so brothers and sisters in islam the awaited uh, topic alhamdulillah eh? it has finally been explained 
yeah for those who are glad to to hear about this topic to today alhamdulillah with the available time which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set aside for, for, for me I've decided to give you up to where my knowledge has has taken me i can say that although i have tried to go out uh, out a bit of the, of the topic but uh, it's good also to come out of the topic sometimes when talking no not only then also on any other matters of dunya so so that you make people understand eh? like uh, out of to topic I spoke about the Holy Quran as the first thing an Muslim need, needs to know when he wants to study Islam. Huh? It's the found, found, foundation in anything of life, in any factor of life. We have we have to to have a foundation. Building a house, we need a foundation. Eh? Also, waking up from your bed, go. You, how will we do? There's the foundation part of of that activity. First, you will wake up, feel yourself. What you've uh, re uh, recharged yourself. Then, quickly, you go to the loo or to eat break break breakfast. In short, it's nature. Of a human being to have a foundation so then foundation for understanding Islam is the Holy Quran eh? Quran has never left any stone untouched eh? and also the other thing which I touched on is Islam teaches somebody to earn a livelihood. Hmm? Other than insure, insure, insurance, eh? although it should be done in an Islamic manner, the other things which is, is Islam has taught looking for a livelihood, but you will find uh, some is, is Islamic groups Inshallah they beard until, until here the masha the kanzwe should, should, should not pass the uh, the uncles mashallah sunnah hmm? and you know who of of whom I am speaking about the tablighi jamat hmm? I am sorry if I if any tablighi hears my videos but but that is the re reality. I've been with ta ta Tablighi for two years. Alhamdulillah, with the grace of Allah, I came out of that group. Well, okay, it's good the way they speak to people about fadail amal. But you 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 see in this in Islam, Islam is a wide topic. See, like this topic in the in this book I was reading to you talks about insurance. Eh? People need to be taught about it. All this book of the lawful and the prohibited in Islam it has covered every aspect of, of Islam. Eh? But with these guys, it's only Sifasita. Hmm? The six pri pri principles of Dawah and, Daw and Tablighi. Eh? Inshallah, in other topics, I shall explain ab about them. You should not go outside of this topic. Eh? But with Islam, Islam is a big sea. Hmm? As I just mentioned, we need to know even how to go to the toilet. But these guys, I don't know, only see for Sita. People need, need to know about uh, Orientalism in Islam, how to defend themselves against external attacks. Because they are those innocent Christians, they don't know about Islam, they just listen to their pastors blindly. 